Hi folks, this is Jake. Hope you're okay today. It's good to see you. I just want to round off this series with two more videos. Um, and I just want to think about classical atheism and modern atheism today. And some of the problems that the modern atheists have. And then the next video I just want to talk about popular YouTubers and their use of uh, scholarship. There's a massive difference between the classical atheist of the past and the atheist today. Now the classical atheist uh, such as Karl Marx and Freud and Frederick Nietzsche and Bertrand Russell um, and Fernbach, their critique of Christianity um, was done with some kind of respect not complete respect but there was some kind of respect for Christianity the respect that it was a foe worthy of uh, critiquing even though there was a complete disagreement with it and a realization that if one rejects such judo christianity you need to put something in its place so for example Furenbach a 19th century atheist um, would who, who said that God was an invention of the human mind um, wrote extensively and I've read quite a bit of his work he wrote extensively about what uh, an atheist morality would be if you contrast that with today even Hitchin said that the big problem with atheism today is we haven't got a positive statement of how to live life and if you go on the websites of atheists it's been often commentated that the atheists are very good you know even on Dawkins websites over the last couple of years there's been a lot of comments about atheism of atheists are very good at knocking down Christianity but they've got very little to put in its place positively to, to live life and there's been a movement recently in atheism called atheism plus where they're trying to uh, readdress the balance and do more kind of social action type thinking but the problem is is on, on that score is the classical atheism did a lot more harder work on trying to provide a, a kind of basis of positive living. The modern atheists have been too negative attacking Christianity. They've been too aggressive, too full of anger. So they have not addressed enough how to live a positive life. It's all been negative. Not completely all, but the vast majority of their output the last 10 years has been negative it's just been a kind of hate fest on attacking the Christian faith so that's been a big difference between the classical atheism and the modern atheism classical atheism had, had big problems and the specifics you know Freud said that religion it was all about wanting a father figure but that's just an overgeneralization. Um, Marx, uh, opium of the people, and all that, all that stuff is kind of opium of the masses. Sort of generalization again. Hume's attack and Spinoza who was not an atheist, but uh, atheist use a uh, generalization that people, where they talk about. Christian Christians are just like sheep following their masters. It's kind of over generalization of, of people, again lacking in any real specific detailed scholarship when it comes to criticizing Christianity. And Bertrand Russell, um, notorious books uh, book on Christianity, why I'm not a Christian. It's really an attack on Catholicism. It's not an attack on biblical Christianity and that's quite remarkable that an, an intellectual of his statue really didn't understand Christianity but at least people like Bertrand Russell and, and people like that at least they they had some kind of respect for Christianity 
and even there was even um, a willingness to be honest at contradiction sometimes I mean Nietzsche uh, Frederick Nietzsche the German atheist banged on about Christianity and we got to be a superman and all the rest of it but he contradicted his own system when he said we shouldn't show any weakness because Christianity shows weakness we shouldn't show any love and be weak like the Christians and he saw a horse I never get tired of stating this and Hitchens in one of the last articles that Hitchens wrote he wrote about this uh, about Nietzsche and the horse and I think he got it from me because I used to mention it a couple of years ago and I made a lot of videos about him but he wrote on his last last one of his last articles about Nietzsche and, and hugging the horse and a horse was being beaten and Nietzsche went and hugged the horse and contradicted his own system showing love where he was saying you shouldn't do that you should be strong and the new and the new man that he was trying to advocate but at least these old classic atheists were much more honest they were not as aggressive and they tried to they realized the implications that they were dealing with a formidable foe judo christianity and if they're going to attack it they had to put something in its place or face honestly the intellectual implications the modern atheist the classic atheists were giants the modern atheist are pygmies intellectual pygmies because they don't realize how central judo christianity has been to western civilization and how significant it is today they don't realize how the massive philosophical implications of pushing christianity out and how much work they have to put in to to try to counteract it with more positive statements and they certainly are honest in facing up to the nihilistic implications or nihilistic implications of their position which some of the great philosophers were willing to do so I think 9-11 when the two towers came down was a defining moment in Western civilization and the atheist reaction to 9-11 has been a blind aggression against Christianity specifically and it's not been fueled by scholarship there was prejudice there and 9-11 was the catalyst and the vanguard to stimulate a whole army of new youtubers and bloggers and scholars who had vented their frustration upon Christianity and, and their fears and prejudice and it was not rooted in solid scholarship but a reaction to perhaps one of the major historical events in modern times thank you